Hi there guys, you're back with me, Dragon Wolf, and we are going to pick up from where we left off. We were just in Nico's apartment. Um, I think in the older game, it just went straight to George arriving, so this is again a bit of a new section for me as well. The immediate things that pop out to me are this thing. Let's have a look at that. My first teddy. Never had a boyfriend as loyal as Din. What is it with her and boyfriends? She has. She must have like loads of them. My old Tegra had seen better days. I was beginning to know how it felt. For me. This is going to be an old boyfriend. It was a photograph of my father, the first one I ever took, with the first camera he ever bought me. Get by music. Cycle through him, he can turn it off. Here that the elephants get something to do with it. Um, just in the off chance, you know. Yes, we're leaving. It was my neighbor, the so called psychic. Mm. 
Mademoiselle Collard. Oh, hello there. Don't tell me. I'm going to meet a tall, dark man. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Why would you say that? <laughs> Just a wild guess. Anyway, your cousin's female and very pretty. What? Your cousin from Marseille. How could you forget a little thing? She was only in your apartment yesterday. Ah, really? Such a charming young girl. Isn't she? And in my apartment, you say? She let herself in, of course. She's got a key. Certainly everything makes sense. My apartment had been bugged. That was how Plantard knew all about my article. How did I know? Because the only cousin I had is a sweet little guy called Jean Marc, who runs a patisserie in Le Tuquet. These people were determined, which meant they were also very dangerous. Well, that's interesting. I suppose she's forgotten which apartment was mine. Oh, Miss Cole, had you read my reader? That's just what she said. Oh, I bet it was. Well, I'd better be going. See what my sweet cousin's been getting up to. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Okay, well, there are more things for us to read. Cafe, and go to Carchon residence, or I can go back home. Cafe, maybe? The door was locked. Aha, it's all been boarded up. The workman looked about as eager and elfin as your average road digger. The police have been quick to clear away the wreckage and arrange for the window to be boarded up. Hello, can I ask you some questions? That depends. Are you a cop? No. I'm a journalist. Bit late, aren't you? They already took away the body. I'm doing a follow-up on the story. Okay, so... That's me. Don't know who these two are. I think that's a guy, isn't it? Tell me, are you related to the workman I saw digging the old? Don't talk to me about Slobage. Ah. Okay. He just won a fortune on the horses and he won't give me a cent. Well, it's his money. When he was broke, he was happy to touch me for a loan. Brothers should look after each other, he used to say. He's changed his tune now, he's brassed up. Always good to know that what George did made the guy some money. You're doing a fine job. Damn right I am. You should be writing about me, not that idiot that got blown up. The heroes will pick up the pieces when disaster strikes. Exactly. Well, give me your best man and maybe I'll put your picture in the article. Oh, right. <laughs> you just give me a minute to do my hair. I don't think that's working somehow. Hello? Yes? I need to take some more pictures. Of course. My pleasure. Just give me a moment. The workman looked about his eat. The police have been quick. There was nothing I could do. Okay. That's how we get by him. Yeah. the body, but nothing else could be still. This is how we saw the guy last time, ain't Nelsia? here? A panel had been blown away, revealing a gap. From its angle, 
I could see that something had been lodged in the gap behind the pipes. Oh, should we go get it? I'm assuming here, you know. Behind the table were some damaged pipes. Now I've seen it in the mirror. I could make out something behind the pipes. You needed a mirror to see that? <laughs> what? The police and forensic teams have missed a vital piece of evidence. Some kind of pouch. On the pouch was the cross symbol of Conchon's organization. I was on the right track. What is wrong with the police in this town? How could you miss that? That's clearly what I was expected to find. Let's have a little look at it, shall we? On the pouch, was inside the pouch, were two items. A strange metallic artifact and a letter in some kind of code. The artifact had a sword laid across scales. The scales of justice. I wondered if this connected to the room at the keyside. Another coded message using the same cipher system. So, the laptop was involved with Cochon. Oh, Christ, gotta do this again. Hi, uh, okay. There's going to be an is or an at. I'm going to guess that's T. I can find the damn thing. Uh, that one. Okay. Actually, we'll reset that because that's got to be plan tower, doesn't it? Which means that has got to be P. That's got to be L. I'm hoping this is how it goes. If you start at each one with a name, that's really handy. Last one started Pierre, so that's where I'm going with it. So plant hard. <coughs> so if that's going to be trail, so that's going to be an I. This is Arno. That was a previous name. Collard, maybe me, Nico Collard. No. Collard. Let's see. Hmm. Nah, it doesn't really work, does it? So R no Ramada, that's gotta be so that's gotta be R. That's going to be R. That's going to be M. Right, that's that's interesting. That one fits more, so I'm just going to say that's R. It's got to be Pierre, so that's got to be E. Ooh, that. Okay. Plantard, Pierre killed. So that's got to be K. Murderer. Must have. 
Bollard, I'm gonna guess that is. Must have Bollard Trail. That's W then. Bollard Trail from Arno and. Was it Ramada? Samada? I don't know. He will come for us now, so that's got to be a C. He must be vigilant. Thierry, it was Thierry, wasn't it? Thierry's girl. Clearly I misremembered the name is Ramada and it was Yamada. Considering it was Japanese, you would think I would remember that, but oh well. Right, let's boost before we get caught. Hey, what about my photos? Oh, of course. How could I forget? Well, I'm waiting. Get your camera out. Camera. Oh, I forgot. Hello. <laughs> they should never send a woman to do a man's job. Well, this woman I told you is here now, and from the evidence <laughs> the police have missed. Love it. Right, we're still Hello? a mortal question, this guy, but... Yes? Have the police finished with the crime scene? What does it look like? I got orders to board up the windows, and that's what I'm doing. So the body's been removed? I certainly hope so. Or it will stink to high heaven when they take down these boards. Shouldn't you check? Are you kidding? They don't pay you enough to put up boards, let alone check for dead bodies. Aye, all right, okay. Calm yourself. Might as well ask him about that, why not? Do you recognize this? It looks like a kid's puzzle piece. Okay. Let's check where the clown went, see if she picks up anything that George has missed. But I doubt it. The drain pipe had been pulled from the wall. Some <laughs> idiot had clearly tried to climb it. Oh, well The pipes done. weren't going to help my investigation. That was your Georgie boy. From the stench, the hole obviously led down to the sewers. Ugh. There might have been clues down there, but I was relieved I didn't have a sewer key. Right, so, nothing much here. Now I think we should go back to Melda's flat and have the a little chat with The artifact I found in Blancard's pouch I pointed back to the quayside. Or the quayside, there you go. We're clearly being shepherded here. What, I really need to do the thing. I should just be open. <laughs> right, give me that. 
and remove the shell case. Of course, it's not open. She had to open, uh, close the thing with a stone tablet, stone roller thing. Right. The artifact had a sword laid across scales. The scales of justice. I wondered if this connected to the wound at the keyside. So, does anyone see any scales at all? I wasn't going to find anything in this hole. Oh, hello, this is new. Scales of justice, hello. Lady Justice stared out from a stone door, which was locked and reinforced with steel bands. I think we found what we're looking for. A slot next to the safe door. All I had to do was find something to fit into it. It was like being back in kindergarten. All I needed now was a shape that would fit the slot. That wasn't good. Could it be this lovely thing that I've just literally found? Dun, dun, dun. The lock, so he must have used this place too. Let's have a look, shall we? The folders were empty. Someone had removed anything that they thought could be incriminating. A photograph had been torn up. Interesting. If I could just arrange the pieces. That's clearly a corner. No. That maybe? There you go. No. Somewhere in the middle. That, that fits so doesn't it? That looks like a side piece. Corner piece. It's going to be the other half of the picture, isn't it? The one that they clearly wanted to hide. Yes, is it her dad? That's a bit of face. Where the hell does this fit then? There we go. Um, oh, hi, yay, yay, yay. When did they move the whole thing? Oh, that's annoying. But at least now I know where all the bits fit. I 
realized that I desperately needed to get to the bottom of this story, and that I really needed George. So we're back with Mr. Stolbart. Um, what we'll do, I think we'll leave it there. Um, now we've changed characters. So that was all new to me, the, the Nico part. I've never seen that before. But it's kind of a little intrigue as to why she was so into the story. Um, I thought it was just when I played it previously, I thought it was just the fact she was a reporter, but she seems to have some sort of personal connection to this. So that's quite interesting. But thank you for watching, guys. Again, leave any comments, feel free to subscribe, and let me know if anything's wrong, anything needs to change or improve, because I'm very, very new to this. And I'll see you again next time. Catch you later.